So after bringing all that stuff back and cooking it up, we've got a ton of new raw ore to play with if we want. Um, filled up our silica and our sulfur and our super cold ice box. And of course, tons of new scoria and obsidian. So we got a lot out of that. And right now we're cooking the titanium and the platinum. And it is slow, let me tell you. These, when you get up to this level, these are slow to cook. But something I did want to point out is if you look at the stack of wood that I'm using to do this work with, I've got 82 left on a full stack, so that would have been a 100 stack. And that's the same stack I've been using for a while now. So it's, it's lasting a good long time. And the reason that is, is if you look at it, that's that frosted wood. And that comes from using the cold steel axe to cut wood. So you'll get the frosted wood, and the benefit of that is that it's got 100% maximum energy, plus 100% maximum energy. So wood lasts a really, really long time. So if you've got these frosted tools, they, they're just, right now, they just seem to be the best. And so we've still got a bunch of frosted wood up here and some regular wood. One thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go cutting more wood here shortly, because these torches, these wall torches that we put up, they've, uh, they've been up since we, built this out and they're only down to 25 wood at this point so they've only used 75 wood so I was thinking if I could get a bunch of that frosted wood and load these guys up refill them on frosted wood they just go forever basically um, so I'm gonna be letting that titanium cook for a while and uh, I think I'm gonna build out the the next floor up here so that we have uh, we can start separating and spreading this stuff out everything's kind of a mess in here right now so we're gonna build the second floor out I probably even take it out that way some so we might do some concrete stuff out in the front here so let me get to work on that and I will bring you back so you can see how it looks when I get that done Part of this, I'm going to unlock this glass working bench. We're going to go ahead and take the glass building set along with the trim and that. That way we can build glass as well. All right, glass working bench done. Again, we're just going to toss it down for a moment. We will be fixing this all up so it looks nice in here shortly. For now, I guess like right here is fine. And then if we wanted to make glass walls, we would need glass, we would need iron, and we would need epoxy. Let's
Okay, so after all of that rework, this is where we're at. We've got all this kind of redone in here. Stone. I've got a concrete face. Glass for the upper windows there. We come in this room. All of our ores are laid out here. The different kinds of ore that we've discovered. We've got a couple of furnaces here. Still cooking iron after that last run. We've got all of our kind of blacksmith crafting table. Anvil bench. The oxidite dissolver. All of that up here in this front room. You come through here. And then the different stations that we've got are laid out in different, like, little rooms kind of thing here. I put all of the different kind of uh, minerals across the wall here, including um, the scoria and the obsidian each has their own table. Of course, this is full. We're going to make a bunch of gunpowder here shortly. Uh, I'll have to use that up. There's the clay that we started. I'm not sure why that copper got in there, but okay. And then, of course, our regular stuff here and so if we go upstairs this room still needs I'm gonna surround this in a little bit put walls around this uh, stairwell but if we go upstairs our upstairs has a nice big room here ready to be used and then of course we've got our bedroom which you saw me put together in the little cutaway there's still some decoration I'd like to put in here things like that but we've got the ability to activate this and sleep off the night up here if we want that makes it nice. We can see out over our our yard here. So, came together pretty nice, I think. Uh, we're going to move the kitchen and the cooking facilities up into this room, I think. This will be what will go in here, and then that way we save that wall back there for other crafting benches that we might need. Probably power is the thing we're going to do soon. 